What is up guys, Cruise Designs here and I've got a really cool tutorial for you today. Uh, it's pretty simple but basically what I show you I want you to take away and apply in other ways. So the tool we're going to be using um, is the tool down here, Layer Mask. Um, this is basically what we're going to be creating. Um, I'll just show you there's the original image and here is the one with the effect it's like a kind of um, it's an edge so on here it's an orangey edge an orange color correction edge but you can apply a blurred edge or um, anything really it's just up to your imagination use any of these um, once I've shown you you'll understand that you can do it with pretty much anything so the tools down here you probably haven't paid much attention to it it's down with a uh, new layer create a new group, uh, adjustments and layer styles uh, just in between and I'm just going to show you two simple uses of it and it's up to you to take that knowledge and do what you want with it so let's get started you want uh, a photo or image um, it works best with like photo editing and photo manipulation so the first step in creating the edge effect is duplicating the image so control J and to this copied image you want to apply whatever you want the edge to be so if you want a blurred edge go filter blur uh, Gaussian blur um, if you want any of these just apply them or if you've got other ideas uh, other effects in Photoshop um, but for this one I'm going to do the same thing and apply a color correction edge so you want to come to layer new adjustment layer and you can choose any of these uh, if you want a really bright edge fading to dark then brightness and contrast I'm just going to do the same thing which was a gradient map click OK and the first thing with the gradient map is to set it to overlay or soft light I prefer overlay now if you want to learn more about gradient maps I suggest you check out my gradient maps tutorial that I made not too long ago I just go over the basics of gradient maps so I suggest you go and watch that uh, there's presets here I've got a ton of gradients but uh, you just need the basic ones really purple to orange is really good it's a really cool one and red to green uh, basically for the orange effect I just use the red to green and change the green to an orange so I've got a red to orange gradient map click OK set to overlay and now you want to uh, highlight both these layers and then merge them control E so now I've got the original image and then the color corrected image on top now it's time to hit the add layer mask button I'm going to click that and basically layer masks work with uh, the colors black white and everything in between so black white and gray so you have to make sure that whatever color you're using uh, for this we're using a gradient to um, edit the layer mask just make sure it's a black to white gradient no color in it basically how layer masks work is the black is um, is erasing it basically and the white is um, kind of not erasing it, it's uh, keeping it there. You'll get the picture, uh, you'll get what I mean later on when I go on to the second way of using these. So we need a black to white gradient. White is where the effect will be and black is where it won't be. And then um, I've chosen a radial gradient. I'll show you linear as well after this. So on, make sure you've got the color corrected image um, highlighted uh, clicked on and then simply click in the middle hold shift and drag out and just a minute right um, yeah if that happens uh, say you've got everything done and you're about to put the gradient on and you put it on and it just comes up with this um, just make a new empty layer and then group it control E that will just get rid of everything make it a simple layer and then reapply the layer mask and now when you apply the gradient it works so here the white goes from the center out to the black 
So the white has erased the middle and revealed the image underneath. And then the edge is still this color corrected image. If you want a really small center, just pull it out a little bit. And there you see we just got a spot in the middle where it's not applied. Or if you want just the edge, drag this out loads and you just get a slightly tinted edge. Also, as I said, you can do this with a any type of gradient, like a linear gradient. And there you see just the top, that looks really cool, it is color corrected. Or you could do that or that. This is the really cool thing about layer masks. You can do pretty much anything you want with them. So uh, that's the first thing I'm going to show you. Um, just a simple color correction edge. And now I'm going to show you one other way of using these. So um, we're going to duplicate the layer again, Control J, and I'm going to blur it for the sake of the tutorial. So we've got the blurred layer on top, non-blurred layer underneath, and now I'm going to show you kind of the same thing as the gradient with the black to white, but with a brush. So here we've got black and white colors. Black will erase it and white will fill it back in. So instead of like an, in the, the eraser tool, um, rubbing out a bit, you can't fill that back in um, unless you undo it. But if you've made loads, um, undoing, going edit, uh, undo only works so much. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, like an eraser, you will only be able to undo so much. So with um, layer masks, you can fill it back in. So I'm going to get the blurred layer and apply the layer mask. Make sure you've got um, black selected so you can erase it. And here you can see I'm erasing, I'll just erase these two buildings. Obviously, if you're doing this uh, properly, be a lot more careful. Um, you can use a soft brush and then just get rid of this, unblur the fire maybe. In fact I'm just going to unblur the whole foreground. There we go. Now let's say I've decided I want these buildings blurred again. You can just switch to white and going back over just fills it back in. Fill this back in, fill the tree back in, and then you can go back over it. It's it's really versatile. So you can erase this, switch back, fill it back in, and that is uh, one basic use of the layer mask. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, remember I've got a speed up contest running. Uh, go and enter that, cash prize and your background will be used on my channel, um, obviously, so go and enter that, but otherwise, I hope this tutorial was helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, thanks.